hi everyone welcome back in this react native video tutorial we are going to learn how we can use the context api in the react native so first of all what is the context api the context api is provide the kind of tree uh, tree flow of the data like uh, if you have the uh, one component and have it have the 10 childs then how you can pass the data from you can pass uh, the data from the two ways first thing you can use the navigation second thing you can use the local stories local story is not a good idea because uh, we have to add the much more functionality and it give the uh, not give the efficient result and the second thing and we can use the navigation from the past the if you want to get the first uh, component data to the last then you have to fast from the data from to second then third then fourth and fifth and so on so this is also not a relevant way so how we can do that so react just introduced the uh, context api in the version 16.3 so it will do it from very easy way so it will provide the two components uh, which is the provider and consumer that will help you to do that is the an easy way so first thing uh, what we have to do in this whole process we have to use the create context api use provider to add value or change and use consumer i think uh, yes consumer to use value of the context api so let's start now so let's get start uh, first of all we have to create an api so for use we can use the const uh, like context mm, equal to react dot create context and you can pass a default value So we do that and now we can uh, let's suppose we have a uh, one more element which is the child so you can use a child like this so just copy and paste it we don't need this one and we can simply we don't need to import this you can write your child all right so mm, data is here so we will show the data here all right so for the style we can pass the child style here and the font size is 18 all right then use this child in the parent component we can say that uh, the app is now parent component of this so just refresh it and you can see that context api is here and data is here which is the child here so let's see how we can pass the data from uh, this component to the child this and without passing the props and without passing the props that means we can access it in the uh, nth position of the tree uh, of the react uh, children and parents tree you can see that so first of all I am going to use the provider context dot sorry provider value is you can write here parent value simply you can say that and just close it for now and simply closes here also that's it and now try to get the this uh, value to the child so how we can get this so now you can see here so for that we have to simply use context dot 
consumer close this here and uh, we need a small syntax here like data it will provide the data of uh, uh, the context API in here you can simply write here data and let's try to refresh it and you can see that we got the parent value here and if not I'm not going to pass the parent value then it will show you nothing so uh, now you can see that we we have this parent value and how we can change this and guys you can see that we didn't pass any kind of probe from here and so if you have a like uh, one more child from child so you don't need to pass the probes from this child to another child and nth child so you can direct use this consumer API and that's it and now let's say uh, I want to make this value dynamic so you can do it uh, from very easily with the uh, help of the button or state button and state so like the button and you can write here title change value all right so let's check okay we got this so we just define a state here this dot state equal to data mm. you can write here context simply context data equal to uh, you can write here like state value you can write just simple that one okay state default value all right so now just define this state like here this dot state dot this and let's check oops we have some error here we have to use as a state as object so here you can see that state default value is here so uh, on the button press on press you can just simply write here this dot set state and context data will be button value now now you can see that by default it have the state value and now it will be the button value by default so you can see that how we can use the context API to pass the parent from child and if you want to let's suppose if you have this child on the another component then you have to use the common value this one uh, it you can put in the separate file and you can add it uh, or import it on the every file so that uh, the context will be common for all apis so thanks guys thanks for watching this video tutorial and if you have any kind of question related to the context api in the react native or react you can ask me in the comment box and you can ask me on the uh, my Facebook page link is given on the description box. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching this video.